In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to tear down a PS4 controller and replace the battery. As you can see, uh, we have two where the analog has just been absolutely decimated somehow. I'm not sure how this even happens, but both the analogs are just wonky as. So we want to fix that up at some point but over here we have a controller that is in pretty good condition um, it's a little bit a little bit icky but I'll clean it up you know as far as I'm aware all it needs is a replacement battery so we are going to go over what you're going to need and uh, first tool is a Phillips head screwdriver now you want to get a decent quality one. This one is, uh, you know, it's designed to not really burr if possible. These are absolutely perfect for these types of controllers because they fit like a glove. They're just in there. So I've already got this one here torn down. So I'm going to start with the one that's already torn down because I want to take the battery out of this white one here and put it into this black one here this one here is uh gonna be moved to the side for now obviously once you take the screws out these four screws you just want to move your way along the edge of the controller and sort of pop it up be very careful though with the um the bumpers because they do have springs in them and if you're not careful the little tiny tiny springs can come out and they can be a little bit of a hassle to actually put back in so just be be gentle but also with a bit of force and of course i had already taken this one apart so we're just going to undo this so you want to flip it over and then be very careful here because there is a uh, very short piece here connecting the battery preferably you'd want um, long nose pliers but you can just use your fingers you just want to pull it just ever so gently out just wiggle it a bit and out it comes anyway so now that we've got that undone we can place uh, the bottom part to the side And then here we have our battery. Now the battery is um, it's pretty straightforward to remove. It's just sat here in a casing. You can just lift it like this. But before we do anything, we need to gently remove this. Again, if you've got some pliers, long nose pliers. I do have some somewhere, but I can just do it with my hands but i do suggest using pliers if possible if you're able to see it it's right next to the battery there get a good view you just want to do a bit of a wiggle and there we go it's come undone and you can simply just lift and yeah that's what it looks like without the battery So now I want to go ahead and just put that to the side. So we are going to put this battery in front of the controller it came out of. So we know that that is the battery we are going to want to put into this controller. So starting with the Phillips, you just want to start unscrewing these tiny little screws. Very, very small very small helps having a magnetic end um, obviously if you can when you get one of these screwdrivers now you're going to want a very small flathead screwdriver very very small one and um, since I've already taken this one apart it won't be as hard but say this is a brand new controller and you need to get it apart you just want to run it along the edges 
just ever so gently, but with a little bit of force. Uh, the front can be sometimes the hardest bit to get at, but it's all good. Just take your time. Just, just maneuver it around, loosen it up. No, right, the front's been difficult. Just get that screwdriver in the front and there we go. Okay, so same thing as last time, you just want to lift very gently. Let's place it like this. And then we just want to do what I was saying earlier with the other one. Just pull up. Just gently and release. And then same thing with the battery. Pull that up and out it goes. Alright, so this here we've got to remember is the bad battery, the one we don't want. So I'm going to put that out of sight, out of sight, out of mind. And what we are going to do here is get our other battery that we know works because we've tested it. We are going to place it in. And then we're going to simply put it, clip this back in, like so. Just, just make sure it's fully clipped in. And then you just got to remember to put this back in. Always remember to put this back in, which isn't too hard really. Like I said, if you've got pliers, use pliers because it will make your life a lot easier. So the blue side needs to go towards the battery when you're putting this in. And in it goes, just like that. You just want to wiggle it back and then put it back together. Okay, so it turns out that it wasn't just the battery that needed to be replaced to get this control working. I found out after recording the video that um, I also had to replace the charger input. This is the old one here, as you can see. I managed to replace it since I didn't get a chance to show you controller actually working, which I wouldn't have been able to anyway. All right, so it turns out that um, the camera recording software decides to cut off as soon as you plug in a controller. So I hope you got to see that yeah, it at least lit up. Um, I really hope that this video helped at least one person out there. And uh, if you wanna see more content like this, you know, drop a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I shall see you in the next one.